Look, Busby. Remember this from when you were a baby. Is it one of my old toys? No, it's one of Papa's old toys. It's a video camera. Wow, can I have a go? Yeah, you just press this red button and point it at what you want to film. <gasps> Thanks, Papa. I'm going to make a film. What's your film about, Busby? An ordinary day on Honey Farm. Oh, are you filming already, Busby? Yoo-hoo! Hello, Busby! Yoo-hoo! You can't wave. It's an ordinary day on Honey Farm. You have to do what you always do. See you, baby. <laughs> Bye, Busby. You can't go. You're in my film. I have to go to work. That's an ordinary day for me. Oh. Teddy bee, teddy bee, touch the ground. Teddy bee, teddy bee, turn around. Teddy bee. Hi, Busby. What are you doing? Shh. I'm filming you. Just keep skipping. Wow. I'm going to be in a film. Let me have a go, Busby. When I finish my film. Are you sure you're doing it right, Busby? Maybe I should be in charge of the camera. No, this is my film. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> OK, start playing. Cool, let's have a kick about. Oh, not football again. Just because I'm better than you. I know, hide and seek. No way, you always win because you're so quiet. Uh, ready? Just because I'm better than you. OK, we'll play it. Let's see who's better at that, slow worm. We always play it. <sighs> I'm trying to make a film. Uh, we have to act naturally, Millis. Do what we usually do. <clears throat> Are my antennae straight, dear? Go on. Uh, just an ordinary day at Ant Hill Stores, where you'll find friendly service. Everything you need. Is your camera switched oh, on? Shush, Millis. Um, and don't forget our special offer on that tummy warming treat. Watch out! Rice and honey pudding. Oh no! I'd love to be in your film, Busby. I know just what you're looking for. At last. Thanks, Katie Pillar. <laughs> but I wanted you to do ordinary things. Dancing's much more interesting. <sighs> OK, baby. Just do what you do on an ordinary day. <sighs> you don't do very much, do you? <sighs> All this filming... It's made me feel... Sleepy. <sighs> Come on, Busby. Time to wake up. <clears throat> what happened? Oh, you must have fallen asleep. Making a film is tiring work. The camera's still running. Let's look at what you've done. be very good. Well, don't worry, Busby. Making a film takes practice. <laughs> that was so funny. I didn't want it to be funny. 
Let's turn it off. <gasps> Look! See this? I must have been asleep. I think this is the first time she's ever flown. And it's all on film, thanks to Busby. Not bad for your first film. Wow! I filmed an extraordinary day on Honey Farm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Oh, well done, Busby. <laughs> Be not making things messier. <sighs> okay. Still tidying. Uh huh. I finished mine ages ago. I'm going out to play now. Bye. <sighs> I want to go out and play too. Right. <laughs> All done. And no pushing it all under your bed. You need to find a home for everything. But I like my room messy. It'll take ages to find a home for everything. <sighs> hmm. Unless I build a home for everything. I can make a den just for me and my things. Just need my things. There, that's more like it. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, Barnaby. Hello, Jasper. Welcome to my den. Cool. It's amazing. Let's see inside. Whoops. Isn't it great? I built it myself. Uh, there's lots of stuff. Uh, it's a bit untidy. Let's play catch. My football's here. Somewhere. What are you boys up to? I've built my own den, Ruby. Can we come in? Everyone's welcome. 
What a mess! It's just how I like it. It's too messy to play in. Come on, Debbie. Let's find somewhere else. I know I've got snakes and ladders in here somewhere. Excuse me. Ouch! I can't find it. <laughs> Come on, Debbie! <laughs> I'm going to play there. See you later. Fine. You and I can still have fun, though, eh, Barnaby? Ooh. Aha! to trip over. Come and bounce! Mm. No, thank you. I prefer my den. Your den is just too messy to play in, Busby. It's not too messy. Look! There's loads of room. I'm whizzing around and around. Oh! Who put that there? <gasps> Busby, are you all right? I guess it really is messy now. <laughs> what happened? It's so tidy. I've decided that being tidy is much less trouble than being messy. I think I need to lie down. Began to rumble, began to roar. Who's there? Who dare to knock on my door? Rat a tat tat. Oh! <laughs> Rat a tat tat. I bet it's the pirate shipmate. Or the long lost princess. Or maybe it's Captain Beaky Bee, the wickedest pirate that ever sailed the high seas. <gasps> Captain Beaky Bee? Yes, Captain Beaky Bee and his long pointy nose, perfect for sniffing out pirates' treasure. <gasps> and we'll find out tomorrow in the next exciting chapter of Piraticus Tat Taticus. Oh. Night, Busby. Sleep tight. Don't let the pirates bite. <laughs> I'll never be able to sleep. I'm too excited. Shh. You don't want Captain Beaky Bee to sniff you out. <laughs> I can't wait to hear the end of the story. Me neither. <laughs> Mama, who was knocking on Pirate Bumble's door? Please tell us. I don't know. We'll just have to wait for Papa to tell us when he comes home later. Oh. oh. If you want the day to go quicker, you could pick up my egg order from Antil Stores. Let's go. Vincent Millis might know the ending of the story. I think it was the long-lost princess Pirate Bumble was waiting for. A princess wouldn't go rat-a-tat-tat -tat on the door. Why not? Hello, you two. Did I hear you talking about a princess? It's a story Papa was telling us. Once upon a time, there was a pirate. <gasps> and Pirate Bumble roared out, Who's there who dare knock on my door? Rat-a-tat-tat! What a story! What happens next? Who's at the door? Oh, come on, tell us! We don't know. It might be his pirate shipmate. Or the long-lost princess. We have to wait until Papa gets home from work to hear the rest. Oh, 
I wonder who was at the door. Oh, I hope it was the princess. It would be so romantic. <laughs> romantic? Yuck, that's not piratey. <laughs> <laughs> Princesses don't even go rat a tat tat. Pirates do. Howdy do, Deep. What's that about pirates? Hello. Have you heard of Pirate Bumble? Mm, can't say I have. Never done much sailing myself. Well, once upon a time there was a pirate. So it might be wicked Captain Beaky Bee. When does your papa get home? Mama, when will Papa get home? Soon. Oh. oh. <gasps> Pirate Bumble's shipmates, the long lost princess. Vincent Mellis? Oh. Um, we brought these. Um, just in case uh, you didn't have enough. Um. When is your Papa due home? Uh, we could just wait to say hello, perhaps. Uh... <gasps> Papa! Hello? Oh. Ooh. Hello! Are we having a party? They're all here for the story. Piraticus, tat, taticus. So, who was, was that at Pirate Pirate Bumble's, Bumble's door? door? Is it the princess? Um, I don't know really. Sort of um, made the story up. <gasps> oh, made it up? But isn't that cheating? No, most stories are made up. That's half the fun. They can end however we like. Really? Then could you make up an ending right now? I'll give it a good go. Hmm. Pirate Bumble began to rumble, began to roar. Who's there? Who dare to knock on my door? <gasps> we do, we do, a chorus of voices replied. Happy birthday, Bumble! It was all Bumble's pirate shipmates come to wish him a happy birthday. <laughs> but what about the princess? Then they all sailed off on a new adventure and found the long-lost princess on a desert island. Oh, super! <laughs> <laughs> and the long-lost princess was so pleased to see them, she baked them their very favourite treasure trove cupcakes. And it was Pirate Bumble's best birthday ever. The end. <laughs> 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 Eggs, uh, flour, uh, nectar. Right, what's next on my list? Oh, look, space bees. Oh, careful. Oh, I guess we'll be buying cereal then. There was something inside. Oh. What are these for, Grandpa? Well, um, oh. I don't believe it. You've won two tickets for the Space Bees movie. <laughs> wow, that's brilliant. I'm going to see Space Bees. Yippee! <sighs> the movies. We used to go all the time. <laughs> I remember. So, Busby, two tickets. Who will you take with you? Hmm. Look, Jasper. I've won tickets to the Space Bees movie. Wow, Space Bees. Bees in space! <laughs> hey, can I come with you? Okay. <laughs> Hooray!
Oh, oh be careful, Busby! Uh, maybe we should go outside. There's a lot more space out there. See you later. Blast off! See you. You're the best friend ever. Whee! Whoosh! Oh, I wish I had a spaceship to carry all this shopping. <laughs> Hello, Busby. Barnaby, guess what? I've got two tickets to the Space Bees movie. Whee! Wow! Can I come? OK, brilliant! You're the best friend ever. Three, two, one. Bees in space! Who are you taking with you to the movie, Busby? Barnaby! He loves Space Bees! Oh, hey, hey! Oh, hang on. Didn't you ask Jasper? <gasps> oh, no! I was being a Space Bee with Barnaby and forgot about Jasper. Oh, you'll just have to tell Barnaby that you already asked Jasper. Oh, yes. OK. <laughs> Space Bee! Me too! Busby's taking me to see the movie! Eh? He's not taking you, he's taking me! No, he's not. He's taking me. Oops. Busby, who are you taking to the movie? Me or Barnaby? You! <gasps> I, I mean you! <gasps> I mean both of you! You're both my best friends! You'll just have to decide who's your best, best friend. I want you both to come, but there are only two tickets. You said I could come. And you said I could come. Oh, don't be sad. Here you are. Now I don't have a ticket. There you are. <gasps> <sighs> don't worry. I don't want to go anymore anyway. Nor do I. You said I could go, but now you say I can't. Best friends don't do that. <sighs> now I don't feel like going to the Space Bee movie. <laughs> oh, it's not so bad, Busby. Don't forget that you can see space every night. What do you mean? You don't need a movie ticket to see space. Really? Tell you what, bring your friends round after tea and I'll show you. OK. And I know what I can do with these. <laughs> <laughs> hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Busby. Have you decided who your best, best friend is yet? Yes, both of you. Eh? And I'm going to prove it. I still don't get it. Why are we looking at the sky? Keep watching. is amazing and real space is a billion times better than a movie we really are bees in space oh hello there everyone thanks for the tickets busby we had a lovely time so did we we really did but now i think it's bedtime for space bees <laughs> okay just one more thing to do ready Three, two, one. Bees in space! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Yay! It's the school trip today. I know. That's why I'm making you both a special packed lunch. Oh, can I have a juicy apple? Crunchy carrot sticks? Peanut butter sandwiches? No, cheese and pickle. Some cherry pie. Or a berry muffin. And the magic word is... Please! <laughs> OK, it'll be ready in a minute. Yay! <laughs> Just checking my lunchbox. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Busby, you've only just had your breakfast. Papa said food gives you energy, and I need energy for the school trip. You're just being a big greedy bee. No, I'm not. Good morning, everyone. Are you all ready for our trip to the flower fields? Yeah! Have you all got your lunch? We don't want anyone going hungry. Mine's a very special pat lunch with carrot sticks, crunchy ones. Mm. Busby, Miss Ladybird has asked me to carry the paper and colouring pencils today. So can you hold my lunchbox? Oh. Hey, what's the magic word? Please. Now, come on everybody, let's go. Oh, brilliant. This morning, the worker bees will show us how they collect pollen. And they'll be asking for one of you to help them. If you eat all your lunch now, Busby, you'll be hungry later. No, I'll be big and strong to when the worker bees ask me to help them. No way, they're going to ask me. No, I'll be the biggest and strongest. The greediest, you mean? Oh, um, it's all gone. Ah, smell that, children. The perfume of flowers. Lovely. Ah. Mmm, peanut butter. Lovely. Ruby wouldn't mind if I just had a little. Oh, cherry pie. You'll pop if you don't stop eating, Busby. <laughs> right then, who wants to help the worker bees? <gasps> okay, Busby, you can do it. Good luck. Oh, my tummy. <laughs> Dear me, Busby, you better sit down. Perhaps you ate too much breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> too much lunch, she means. <laughs> Sorry, Busby, you can't help the worker bees with a funny tummy. Ruby, why don't you go instead? You bet! You can have lunch when you get back. Too bad she doesn't have any lunch. Hey, Busby. Why don't you ask everyone for one thing from their lunchbox? That way Ruby will have something to eat. OK, then. Bye. 
I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Just one thing before you go, just a sec. I had a very interesting lunch, Busby. Oh, uh, good. Not what I was expecting. <sighs> okay, okay. I ate your lunch, so I asked everyone to share their lunches with you. I knew it. They were both so yummy, I couldn't help it. You ate two packed lunches, Busby? Yes, Miss Ladybird. No wonder you had a funny tummy. Sorry, Ruby. I guess I am a greedy bee after all. Fruit lollies for everyone. Oh. I'm a bit full, thank you. Ruby can have mine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.